Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I rise today as a registered nurse who worked in emergency rooms and caring for patients. I also rise as a former member of the Tennessee General Assembly who saw firsthand the devastation effects of ten care on our state and was a part of the group to of the effort to dismantle it. Um, finally, I rise today as a representative of the 6th District of Tennessee where my constituents have told me over and over how they do not want Obamacare bankrupting our nation and getting between them and the, patient, and the uh, doctor. Um, Mr. Speaker, I know that the health care industry and I know that the new health care law is not the solution to our problem. Pretty soon, the health care law will be the problem. And I know this because uh, for many of us in Tennessee, the President's new health care law is like a bad dream all over again. And let me tell you what I mean. Tennessee was the pilot project for universal health care. And the experiment was called TenCare. And put simply, the experiment failed. After TenCare passed, we watched the cost grow exponentially. And those of us in the legislature knew that if we did not do something, TenCare was going to bankrupt our state. And much like Obamacare, the sheer size of TenCare was more than government could handle. The government could not perform all of the functions of the medical in insurance industry. And promises of care and access were made, and promises were far beyond what our state could possibly do. It didn't take long before TenCare uh, became riddled with waste and fraud and abuse. And I can remember talking with people who had gone from doctor to doctor and specialist to specialist using TenCare to fill more than 50 prescriptions. Yes, 50 prescriptions is what they would put in front of me and tell me that TenCare was paying for and it was all on the taxpayer's dime. TenCare became the monster that even the creators could not control. And today, TenCare is gutted only available to a small group of people, and Tennessee has been brought back from the brink of bankruptcy. Last month, Republican governors wrote to ask the administration, and I quote here, waive the bill's costly mandates and grant states the authority to choose the benefit rules that meet the specific needs for their citizens, and close quote. The governors were asking for common sense solutions like waiving provisions that punish consumer driven plans, like the most popular plan and the cost effective plan of health care savings account. Give the states the ability to do what states can do best, and that is determine what's best for them. But the president shows no sign of granting states some flexibility and how they will apply Obamacare. And only yesterday, President Obama said he is supporting letting the states propose their own health care plans by 2014. However, that would be only if he will not change the mandates for the states in the current law. So in one side of his speech, he says, yes, he will allow some flexibility. On the other side, he says, there still must be certain mandates. If the gen gentlewoman would uh, let me reclaim my time, it's kind of like, uh, you know, you can uh, keep what you like until you can't. And that's what we're seeing, and that's why, as I pointed out earlier, uh, that, that 733 waivers just in this year 2011 have been granted by Secretary Sebelius to try to uh, fulfill that promise. But they can't do it. They can't keep up with it. There's a need for a new waiver every day. And I yield back to the gentlewoman. Thank you. Dr. Gangry, as you said, um, states will, uh, will still be forced to comply with benefit levels and mandates that are set by federal bureaucrats, not by the states themselves. That certainly doesn't give states rights. Uh, Secretary of Health and Human Services Kathleen Sebelius has already said that if a state were to propose its own plan, that they will be forced to provide with comprehensive, comprehensive coverage and that coverage will be defined by government. Oh, yeah. So, so much for being able to keep your plan or for the states to make a determination on what plan best suits them. So now President Obama wants every state to live through its own version of 10 care with ballooning budgets for each state and no way to curb their health care costs that will cripple the states during the time of already strapped budgets. It's simply unacceptable. 
uh, we, the gentle lady would yield to me for just a I second. Yield. I, I would say it's unconscionable <laughs> and unacceptable. I yield back. We averted this disaster in Tennessee by dissolving TenCare. And now as a member of Congress, I will work to stop this financial and fiscal disaster that Obamacare will bring to our nation. This health care law must be replaced, and I believe this House can do it. Thank you, and I yield back the balance of my time.